Hey everybody, welcome back to New Venus channel and today we look into why you out there, a lot of people, me included, did buttons wrong all the way along. Let's check it out. Yes, wrong all along may be sound like a bit of an overdramatic statement, but there's certainly something that at least I and the quite some people out there did wrong when it comes to buttons. And I noticed this during one of my recent streams. So let's dig into what exactly it is. And PS, if you use Tailwind V3 and lower, then probably you did it wrong as well. All right, so one of my recent streams, I was building a site called LiveView.f, where you can see Vue and Nux.js streams on Twitch, basically on a nice UI that's all open source and built with Nux UI version 3 and Tailwind CSS V4. And of course, these sites also have buttons, like for the languages, or for changing the color mode, so like the light or dark scheme, or radio buttons, and so on and so on. And in this project, I noticed something that I also noticed before when I used Nuxt UI v3 alpha and tried it out, is when you hover over a button, you see that this doesn't really have a cursor change to pointer. While I guess some of you would expect that. For example, when hovering over this wonderful link here, we see the cursor changes, or discard, or discard, but not when, for example, here, going for a certain language or for the radio buttons or the color. And what I did in, during the stream was obviously, okay, there must be a bug in the implementation. That seems wrong. Let's add the class back because of accessibility, right? And luckily, one viewer on the stream was sending me the link to an issue in Thailand CSS4 saying, ah, you better check that. And the issue 8961 in the Taiwan CSS repository says buttons have cursor pointer by default, but should not for accessibility reasons. And now you might be like, what? I mean, don't we want to have a cursor change so people see, hey, it's a button. Amazing that cursor changes. Apparently not. So let's see what two interesting content pieces say there. But first, let's see what our browser says to that. And with our browser, I mean, what is the default behavior for a button without any styles, just the ones from the browser? So no like Tailwind pre-flight whatsoever. This is just Firefox, a normal button. And actually this is an about blank page just with this button in here, no CSS loaded, nothing changed. And what will happen if we hover over that button? Well, we see the button style changes, of course, right? It gets a little bit darker. But besides that, nothing. The hand is not changing. It's not changing to cursor pointer. So we can click it, of course, but that doesn't change it either. So is there no cursor change by default? Yeah, that's correct. The, the browsers don't do it at all. Somehow this just got adapted by certain applications. And it's a bit strange, actually, because why did we do that first of all? I wonder what the CSS spec actually says about the cursor pointer part there. And here we have it. This is part of the CSS spec from the W3C. And this is all around cursors, how to use them, and so on, so on. And if we take a look at pointer, which can be found here, then it says the cursor is a pointer that indicates a link. And folks, we all know a button, like a button element, is not there to show a link. That's the anchor or a tag for, right? OK, so a button should not have cursor pointer by default, it seems. And another piece of evidence is the blog post from Adam Silver that is actually eight and a half years old. It's from July 15th, 2016, saying buttons shouldn't have a hand cursor. So some people knew it all the way along. I guess people just didn't really bother with it. And Adam makes the point here. Well, actually many points, but no pointers. <laughs> that the hand itself, so the pointer cursor, doesn't mean it's clickable. It's actually, as we've seen in the spec, it's meant to be a link. And there are also other guidelines that actually say the same. So for example, Microsoft's design guides, Apple's human interface guidelines, and of course, also the W3C user interface guidelines, and so on, so on. The blog post is also linked in the description. It's a really good one. And I can only recommend reading that here to see why that is actually a good point to not use the cursor pointer. But I think the key part here is, Shouldn't your button already tell your users that it's clickable and a button without a cursor change at all? And that might be the point here. If you really need that cursor change to indicate your users that, hey, this button is clickable, 
then this might be a bad design choice straight away and shouldn't be implemented like that. I wonder what your takes are on that. But of course, I took a look further and wondered, hmm, maybe there are some design systems who implement it differently. I mean, on most pages, including things like GitHub, for example, yeah, also there, the buttons, like this copy link button, they actually have a cursor pointer. And I'm not talking, of course, about this, for example, new issue button, which is obviously a link, but any other buttons here as well. So in a way, we all do it wrong. And you find this on a lot of, lot of pages, of course. And even on one of the royal design systems, one could say, because that's the gov.uk design system, right, for the whole uh, United Kingdom, we have this button component that's all around accessibility. And even here, we have the dreaded, you see it, cursor pointer. So I wonder, what's the point here? It's not only me. There's also a comment on the GitHub repository of that design system asking, hey, what is actually the justification or point to use cursor pointer all along? We find it here from Daniel Koskinen asking exactly that and saying, hey, there are discussions to remove that and so on, so on. But as an example, gov.uk as the design system here that's very accessibility focused does it differently. So apparently there is a right direction of saying they shouldn't be having a cursor change, but we still all do it wrong. And now what's the point here? Of course, in Tailwind V4, coming back to the Tailwind issue from the stream, this was adapted. Actually, Adam Wathen decided to ship it in a major version of Tailwind V3 first, but then moved it all the way to V4 because in a way it is kind of breaking, right? So in Tailwind V4, you would have to add it back if you want to. And as I said before, I was almost about to do so, but thanks to, well, the stream and someone who is more educated in the topic before than me, we not only have the video, but I also know that I shouldn't add it back now. So I wonder, what is your take on that? Do you think buttons should have a cursor pointer and we might need to change the guidelines of CSS there? Or do you think, yeah, you know what, it doesn't make a difference? Or do you even think, hey, without a pointer, less people might click on it? Or do you follow my argument of saying, hey, if your button isn't obviously a button without that cursor change, then it's a bad button by default. Let me know in your comments and whether you will add the tiny part back in the Tailwind CSS v4 to actually set all buttons to cursor pointer or do it manually or don't do it at all. I'm curious what you think and yeah, will we fix all the buttons? Probably not, but I hope there will be some clarity in that in the future. Let me know your thoughts. Also check out the latest Deja View episode and see you in the older videos. Otherwise, next week as usual. Happy hacking. <laughs>